systematic study on the reaction between iodide ions and hydrogen peroxide. The dependence of the reactant concentration on the rate of a chemical reaction can be studied from the reaction between iodide ions and sodium thiosulfate in the presence of hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is an oxidizing agent that oxidizes iodide ions to iodine in an acidic medium. The reaction is monitored by adding a known volume of sodium thiosulfate solution and starch solution to the reaction mixture. The liberated iodine reacts with sodium thiosulfate and reduces to iodide ions. When thiosulfate ions are completely consumed, the liberated iodine reacts with starch solution and gives a blue color. Our aim here is to study the reaction rate of reaction of iodide ions with hydrogen peroxide at different concentrations of iodide ions. Materials required 0.1 molar potassium iodide solution 0.05 molar sodium thiosulfate solution Distilled water 2.5 molar sulfuric acid starch solution 3% hydrogen peroxide solution conical flasks measuring cylinders glass rod and stopwatch procedure Take four 250 milliliters conical flasks labeled A, B, C and D. Measure 5 milliliters of 0.1 molar potassium iodide solution in a measuring cylinder and transfer it into the flask A. Similarly, add 10 milliliters of potassium iodide solution to flask B. 15 milliliters to flask C and 20 milliliters to flask D respectively using the measuring cylinder. Using another measuring cylinder, add 10 milliliters of 2.5 molar sulfuric acid to the flasks A, B, C and D. Now, using a measuring cylinder, add 85 milliliters of distilled water to flask A. 80 milliliters to flask B, 75 milliliters to flask C, and 70 milliliters to flask D to make the volume of solution 100 milliliters in each flask. Add 5 milliliters of starch solution to the flasks A, B, C, and D using a measuring cylinder. Add 10 milliliters of 0.05 molar sodium thiosulfate solution to the flasks A, B, C and D using another measuring cylinder. Now, measure 5 milliliters of 3% hydrogen peroxide solution in a measuring cylinder and add it into flask A and start the stopwatch immediately. Stir the mixture using a glass rod and watch for the blue color to appear. Stop the stopwatch when the blue color just appears and note down the time required for the appearance of blue color. Repeat the experiment by adding 5 milliliters of 3% hydrogen peroxide solution to flasks B, C and D and note the time required in each case for the blue color to just start appearing. Record the observations in a tabular column. Plot a graph between the time taken for the appearance of blue color along ordinate and 1 by volume of potassium iodide along the abscissa. It should be a straight sloping line. From the graph, it is clear that the rate of the reaction increases with the increase in the concentration of iodide ions. 
precautions. Always use a freshly prepared solution of sodium thiosulfate. The concentration of potassium iodide should be greater than that of sodium thiosulfate. Use freshly prepared starch solution.